video, we will discuss about the extrema or the maxima and minima of a function. So, the word local or relative maximum or minimum or the absolute maximum and the absolute minimum. So, how do we find this absolute minimum and absolute maximum of a curve? So, say for example, you have the curve... Um, you have the curve y is equal to x squared minus 5x minus 36 at the interval ne 8, negative 8 and 8. So, our test is to find the absolute maximum and the absolute minimum. So, first step is to find where will the function or the derivative of this function be zero. So first let us derive the function. So we will have 2x minus 5. So to find uh, where will this be zero, just simply equate this into equate into zero and then find the value of x. So we will have 2x minus 5 equals 0 and we have 2x equals 5 by additive inverse then divide both sides by 2 so we will have x equals to 5 halves. Next, since we already have our values of x from negative 8, 8 and 5 halves, just simply substitute these values to the original equation. So, your original equation would be y equals 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. So, substitute first we will have to substitute negative 8. So, that would be y equals negative 8 squared minus 5 times negative 8 minus 3. So, that would be 64 minus last 40 minus 3. So, simplify. Simplifying, we will get positive 68. Next, we will substitute an negative um, positive 8 so that gives us y is equal to 8 squared minus five times eight minus three so that gives us sixty four minus forty minus three so that would that would be twelve. Am I right? Okay, 12. Next, we will have the uh, value of 5 halves. So, that would be y equals uh, 5 halves squared minus 5 times 5 halves minus 3. So that would be 25 over 2 minus 25 over 2 over 4 minus 3. Finding their LCD, we have 4. Then 25 minus 4 divided by 2 is 250 minus 4 times 3 is 12. So simplifying, we will get negative 25 minus 2 we have.
So we will have one six negative one sixty nine over four. So since we already have our values one sixty nine over four, twelve and sixty eight, we can now identify why our maximum and minimum. So the highest number or the largest number is the maximum or the absolute maximum and then the lowest number or the smallest number is the absolute minimum so here the absolute maximum is 68 so this is the maximum and the absolute minimum is the negative 169 over 4